that you didn't do justice in as much as to her she felt I, I have said it all like i have done a lot of justice to her video which was the reason either she because me i strongly believe that this person that is often constantly sending me messages on my dm insulting me and our women is either somebody that has a strong connection with judy austin or it's judy austin herself or stella or stella mafia abi sarah martins do you understand my people so yesterday after i dropped the message i went to bed and then i wake up this morning seeing this uh, message again in my dm and this person continued telling me that nifo gets him no way them na street no way akum duga duga do you understand and then before i show you guys the latest message that they dropped again in my dm i want to first of all point out some of the things that i failed to do yesterday yes imana i am about anna yora oh yeah do you understand yes you know most times judy austin thinks that she's the only one that that, that has this definition or has this attitude of she doesn't know that this person sitting right in front of the camera is the like the highest definition of but the difference between me and you judy austin is that i do the right thing and i say the right thing and i'm not this person that supports evil that is one thing i want you to know today no matter how much threat or how much uh, uh messages you guys feels you can drop in my dm believe you me i am not this person that you can easily intimidate i am not this person that you can easily convince otherwise do you understand i might you know my face is always deceiving that is one thing people don't understand about me i am this person that embraces peace but it doesn't mean that i run away from troubles to you understand so don't let my face deceive you because you coming to my dm to promise me that he gets me <laughs> oh my gosh do you understand you keep on promising me in my time when you catch me if you catch me and all that does it mean that that moment that that time that you think you will catch me i will not be looking at you in it you will not you will be <laughs> you'll be flogging me and all that. i don't understand it but that is by the way my people before i show you guys this message the latest message i want to first of all point out something i i, I felt that i didn't point out yesterday if you listen to that yesterday video properly you will found out that judy austin made mention of you a doche working from monday to monday do you understand he works from monday to monday and then goes home on sunday he takes the next available flight on sunday just to go and drop his daughter in school that exactly came out from judy austin's mouth you know sometimes people will just sit down and i call bra 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 you open your mouth very wide and closes it without knowing that whatever you're saying at that point should be counted you should count your ways to avoid implicating yourself the more which simply means that Judy Austin is telling the world that you, Edoche, does not have time for his family. He, he, Judy Austin has let the world know that you, Edoche, doesn't have time for his family. That he's always running back to Enugu. And this Enugu, it's very obvious to you and I that the place that you, Edoche, stays at Enugu is in Judy Austin's house. Which practically means that our Queen May has been the one taking care of the kids all by herself. And yet, this lady is not being appreciated. Instead of you, Edoche, to make up for his absence, he chose to pay this lady back with all this drama that he's coming out here to put up. What is that telling you? He walks Monday to Monday and only travels when he wants to take his, his child to school and returns back to any good the next morning. Am I the one that said it? Isn't it this Judy Austin that is implicating herself and bringing you, Edoche's dirty uh, Ifedi outside? Isn't it very obvious, my people? That is number one. Do you understand? The second one, Judy Austin said that you, Edoche, used to be the best actor. That he, as long as uh, Nigeria is, uh, Africa is consigned, that you, Edoche, is the best as, uh, actor in the whole world. My sister, my brother, please, how many people is still watching you, Edoche's movie? How many, people's, how many people are still watching you, Edoche's movie out there? You that is looking at me, do you still watch his movies? Like, how many people still watches you and Doche's movie out there? Have you forgotten that, that moment, those days when, when you and Doche speaks, Ebony Nedelujum? Such thing does it still exist these days? Such respect that people has for you and Doche. You know, a woman that you got married to today has the ability to either make you or destroy you. There is no two ways about it. 
He said the woman you have in your life will either lift you or reduce you. You are a Dochi, with all due respect, my brother. Judy Austin has drastically reduced you to nothing. Yes. I own up to it. I said it. Odogu Buzo Diego. This lady has drastically reduced you to nothing. And if you don't stop this her recent attitude of coming to internet to rant, to chase cloud, then she's going to reduce you to him and you will, you will practically not even understand yourself anymore. Look at what she is saying. She said you, you are uh, uh, the best actor in Africa. You are the, when it's very obvious that nobody watches your movie out there anymore. When it's very obvious that your voice, your statement doesn't even create any impact in people's life anymore. Gone are the days when you used to be our best. I think that is, it's high time somebody remind you because it seems you guys have forgotten. And I'm very sure that you did not forget or you are, you are seeing this in the handwriting is boldly written on the wall. Compare your life when you were with our queen and compare your life now. What does it say? A good woman is that woman that doesn't hide. A good woman displays in the life of his man. When you marry a good woman, everything about you will be moving smoothly. It will be moving smoothly. Even if you did not make it yet, like you married a woman, a good woman, and you didn't make it, but you will make it, and you will find yourself leaving that step, leaving the stage. If you were in stage one, you will find you, you will gradually be developing yourself. You will find yourself in stage two, stage three. Before you know it, it will be Odogu. But this one is, Odogu was in the highest stage and practically reduced to nothing after marrying Judy Austin. And Judy Austin has the God to come to my DM. You have the God to sit in front of your camera. You know what? I'm not going to be putting it to you directly because that you came to my DM because I don't have a proof. I didn't see you. The account is a fake account. Do you understand? Because so many times I have tried everything possible. I have copied the link of the owner of this account and I've checked and this person only has a tree. Which simply means it's a, it's a fake account. But what I know, and something that nobody would ever convince me otherwise, is that the person behind this thing is your fan. Somebody that has strong connection with you. Sarah Martins or yourself. These are the four people that I have in mind. It's left for you, Judy, to please advise this person. If this person is not you, advise this person. Tell this person to stop coming to my DM to drop these messages. Because if you like, drop it from now to tomorrow. It's not going to make any difference. It's not going to change my love for Queen May. Because I am a woman. And I am a mother, a mother of three. And I know what I saw just to bring those three into the world. And I wouldn't want to lose any. Not to talk of a woman that lost. Do you know what it means for a woman to lose the, uh, her first fruit? Do you, have you ever asked, no, you're a mother, I don't need to ask you this question. Do you know the connection between mothers and their first fruit? That person that showed you the, the road to motherhood. And you're, you're sitting there telling us that we don't have right to tell you a doche how to mom. Ha ha, Judy, fear God, nah. Fear God. You're sitting there telling us, telling us that it's right for a man to actually leave his home two weeks after the departure of his son, the next thing. So for him to show that, for him to ease the pain in his heart, it's only when he jumped to the internet and turned into choir master. That is the only way he can ease the pain. Eh? All the nakademus that he's doing with you, didn't he ease the pain for him? At least he does those ones behind closed door inside the house. Nobody is seeing. But for you to claim that you are mourning your child and you still have squeezed that a little time to come to the internet, ne ne oesiano ne pochi, Judy Austin, please, I am giving you this advice as your sister, as your sister name Banono, Banono, onya si a jide koji, omani phone eme dema. There is no how. Majority, group of people, Nigerians, we just gather and asking you to rap like EG. We don't know you from Adams, Judy. We don't have any personal issue with you. It's just the way you're going about this latest 
a, 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 a way of you and your husband that is our problem here. And you cannot come here and be oppressing somebody that have done some, nothing wrong to you and you want us to keep quiet and we are looking at you. And when I speak my mind, when I bring out my take, when I bring out my perspective, you, 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 I don't know who you are. We run, constantly run to my DM to come and shut me up. It's not possible. I am not one of those people. Look at me very well. It's not every, every blogger that is sitting here that is hungry, my sister. If you look at me very well, Imanan Kaliroku Kote. Do you understand? My people, let me show you the message because I have been talking all this while. I wanted to point out one or two. I want to show you the message. Read with me, it's right in front of your screen. So she says, Madam, I have seen that you've been paid by that use. Read from your screen. You know, I can't pronounce all the words because of Facebook. So read from your screen. She says, I have seen that you have been paid by that use mm -hmm, pretender to bring down Ijele Odogu, but she is untouchable. You and this lover are the most senseless bloggers out there. Hmm. Mana Nkegibo Akamukes. <laughs> she said, My own is Akamukes. Now, Oji Demoti Kamaro. Mana Nkegibo Akamukes. Because you are not faceless like this lover. I am not faceless and I don't need to be faceless. You understand? You are not faceless like this lover. And any day I catch you on the road. Nkabungena <laughs> Tomiche. You saw the sweet me, eh? She says, And any day I catch you on the road. You see all this you're ranting on Facebook. You must show me your proof. Animal. Because of one hundred K you are being paid. You are here. Eh? I mean, who give me this hundred K? I never see hundred K. She said, because of this one, this little hundred K that I'm being paid. Eh? You are here ranting. Go and ask your useless supporters to speak up and let the world know why Odogu took that step. I should go and ask my useless. Do you understand? I can't pronounce, you know. I should go and ask Queen May that I'm supporting the reason Odogu took that step. That the reason Odogu took a second wife. Do you understand? Your own is to come and be ranting here. But pray I don't catch you anywhere anymore. <laughs> my people, this was the message I received. And believe me, sincerely, this message is making me laugh. Like since I saw this message this morning, I'm just repeating. I will read it any little time I have again. I will come and read it again, my people. This message is making me laugh. But all I'm saying is, there is no need sending me message. You can come out and send me, open your face. Because if all these things you guys are saying are truths, why are you hiding yourself? And why are you using a fake account? And why would you... Promise your fans that you're coming on live video. You came and you're rounding the same words. But then you, you guys are sending me message, telling me, calling me names, saying I'm this and my me and my queen me, my that I'm supporting. We are this and we are the other one. My people, I don't know what is your take on this one, but I want to use this opportunity to tell whoever that is sending this message that I'm not scared of he or, or him or, or her. Do you understand? I am okay. And mind you that no no matter the amount of message or the amount of if you know what it will not make me to change my mind and it will not make me to stop speaking the truth, Judy Austin, until you receive your sense, until you receive sense. Eh? What I do for a living is dragging Judy Austin for a living. This is my occupation from now henceforth. I love you. Don't forget to share this video for me. I will definitely see you in my next one. One love, my people. Cheers.